What's up guys, Sans7 here and we got a giveaway! This is a Smurfin legend, it is Ares! Now, comment below, it is an Android account, and I will pick a random comment for the winner of that account. Alright, well, here's Free to Play Episode 17, you can see my account has progressed immensely. While I did take a break from CC while doing all the research on the monetization and whatnot, I did have someone help me out and get these heroes up there. That one right there, Storm Mesa. Succubus is great at that. Got the second Druid. Well, that life drain is so sick. And look at all these shards that were farmed on the way to the Reaper. Yeah, baby. Okay, so where did all this come from? Well, it came from Castle Clash. Free to play legend. Thirst. That's right. You've heard of him before, guys. And, well, he's formed... Or not formed, but beaten J5 as a totally free-to-play player. Does not have Cupid either. Now, Pumpkin Duke, yes. Pumpkin Duke is a must. And I'm going to go through and do a couple Storm Maces. And I'm going to do some random ones. Just to emphasize how important Pumpkin Duke is. Whether you're free-to-play, pay-to-play, whatever it is. You need that Pumpkin Duke. Now, the guild, Hans. Well... It's finally becoming active. You can see all his Smurf slaves there. Well, contact Thirstix if you want to join. He's finally making active. Now, this is what you do when you go random. Well, you jump in, you jump out. You jump in, you jump out. Having your Pumpkin Duke rated or nah, leveled as high as possible so he is your highest level hero. When you're doing random Storm Maces, you don't have a full guild. Well... That's a huge advantage. You see, there's only 10 seconds. There's not enough time to look at everyone. Oh, whoa, two. Oh, come get you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wee. Let's get it on. And it doesn't matter if that pumpkin duke, like you can see right there, he's level 86. That's not going to be a problem. You have to have two pumpkin dukes at least, though. There's no way around that. Now, having the succubuses, what do they do? Well, they're going to reduce that boss's damage because if my pumpkin duke happens to be tanking well that can be a problem but if you have a few succubuses taking that damage down from the boss that's going to help out quite a bit of course cupids always help with getting druids to the heels faster but you can see when you get two pumpkin dukes they start double and triple and quadrupling and just the stacking goes crazy that is the only way to get past it i've taken my main gone in and been with some decently high level accounts but no one else had pumpkin do well it was a loss every time because you have to have two pumpkin dukes that even if you're free to play basically starting this game out you don't want to spend money well create a thousand accounts and just make sure you roll pumpkin do it is a rare roll and as for the rewards it doesn't matter what color you get the only thing that's going to affect is a little bit of experience in the tome courts and then the hero you might get a blue one which really not big of a difference you're going to get the 100 merits either way and that is what this game mode is all about it's all about getting merits until you can farm storm mesa 3 or storm mesa 4 where storm mesa 4 is a real advantage because getting that purple chest you can get an extra quest which we all know that's a bunch of rewards especially when you're at high might when the quest actually works really well and you get super rewards now on this one you can see well we got two pumpkin dukes again even though the other pumpkin dukes only a level 80 it's not going to make a difference as long as both pumpkin dukes are there and they stay alive the problem is if you have only two pumpkin dukes and one of them ends up tanking gets popped early you're done because you just will not be able to get it revved up and going to kill the boss because of course that boss is absolutely immune to stuns and when it comes to doing a lot of damage, the best heroes, well, Snowzilla, Amortep. If you don't have those heroes, well, anything that is going to proc and do 35,000. Preferably able to proc multiple times on one enemy. That's why Snowzilla and Amortep are so great. Your levels don't have to be that great because Pumpkin Duke stacks so many times, even a lower skill level Snowzilla or a Mortep is going to be hitting for 35,000. There it is. Into this one. Next one, I'll show you a great boss line. This is all thanks to Thirstix. All right, guys, stand up and out.